At common law, police officers could use whatever force necessary, including deadly force, to arrest a fleeing felon. Whether deadly force was necessary typically depended only on whether the officer could have arrested the felon without deadly force. In State v. Mantelli, we explore how that rule has evolved over time. Early one morning, patrolling police officers Joseph Mantelli and Steve Marquez were chasing a truck driven by 18-year-old Abelino Montoya. When the truck reached a dead end, Montoya began backing up, colliding with the police car. Mantelli subsequently fired multiple shots at the truck, two of which struck Montoya and killed him. The state charged Mantelli with voluntary manslaughter and aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, among other things. At trial, there were conflicting versions of events. Mantelli claimed that he used the police car to block in the truck, admittedly against police policy. When Montoya backed up, Mantelli was scared because he thought that Marquez was outside the car and was either struck or run over. Standing near the truck, Mantelli fired one shot into the driver's window. Then, once the truck turned, he fired two more shots, thinking that Montoya was about to reverse and ram the officers again. Because Mantelli believed that the truck was being used as a deadly weapon, he sought a jury instruction on justifiable homicide by a police officer. But Montoya's passenger testified that Mantelli only fired after Montoya was fleeing the scene. The state, therefore, argued that Mantelli wasn't entitled to a justifiable homicide instruction because his use of deadly force wasn't objectively reasonable. The trial court agreed and issued only a self-defense instruction. The trial court ultimately convicted Mantelli, prompting his appeal to the New Mexico Court of Appeals.